to I mean, you call it EWB. It's a student organization under EWB USA. As a student organization, we usually partner with communities. It's a program where they come to us with a need and we get to use engineering and we can create a solution and work with the community to implement this to create a system that will make a difference. I don't know. It's real experience and different experience from the classroom. In the school year, um, we have weekly meetings, and during these meetings, we plan different groups that are going to take on different parts of the projects. And then from there, mentors take a look at it and make sure everything's good. And once we do all that, then it's submitted into the EWUSA for approval. Right now we're making the pit for the tower. The anchor part goes down here and we have to make that really strong. It's the most important part of the ridge, otherwise the tower can go into the gorge. So we have to make it deep enough and fill it with big rocks. And right now we've been excavating and haven't even gotten to the rock parts. And we've been ex excavating all morning and they've been doing this for the past month, um, getting this big hole dug. So we'll get this done today and hopefully start putting rocks in by the end of today as well. So it's the beginning of day three and right now we're trying to figure out how much lower the other side of the bridge is compared to this side and just measuring to see how far off it is. One of my favorite parts about the trip so far was being able to actually work with the community and hauling all the buckets of sand and I really enjoy being able to do a project not just for them, but definitely with them. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Fermín Ortega. La verdad, eh, ahorita soy el maestro de obra del, de la organización aquí en Joyabag, acompañado de Cristóbal. Eh, tengo bajo mi responsabilidad toda la logística de los diferentes grupos que nos visitan. He's always been our foreman and we've been able to rely on him. Um, he's, he's always got innovative ways to solve like every problem that we come into and he's he works with other chapters too so there's there's things that you know our chapter hasn't come across yet that he's done before so we can always consult him yeah we'd, we'd be dead in the water without him for sure because the people here respect him they listen to him he can organize them well he can speak to the community leaders to the mayor to us um, everything kind of revolves around what he does and how well he does it and the success of this project has a lot to do with Mincho's efforts. Especially with the group and Mincho and Clayto, we work really hard together. If there's ever a problem, it gets fixed with like random things. Like it's nothing, it's out of the ordinary. So when we had to have these massive formworks put onto the tower, we had to like put boards down into the pit. We had to tie rope around it, have a bunch of people behind them and slide it down nice and slow. And I think that's something that you wouldn't have on an ordinary work site. And I really like that there's problem solving that we can do as engineers. So on the other side of the river, we're working on pouring um, the concrete for the tower posts and the base. There's tire rims embedded inside of the concrete, which will let the cables run over without scraping on the concrete um, and damaging the cables. So there'll be a cable over each of the towers for the handrail, and there'll be four cables on the base that'll run across, that'll go underneath the deck of the bridge. I've enjoyed working alongside the, the community. Uh, it's been neat to see the interest and the dedication that they have as they send 50 to 60 people each day. Today we're, we're finishing up the last concrete pour that we need to do, and then it's all just pulling the cables and doing the decking. So we got three days to do that. Hopefully we can get it done without running into any problems. It kind of feels like we haven't had a, a smooth day without any problems yet, but today's going very well and we're approaching the end of it. So hopefully I didn't jinx myself. <laughs> right now we're tensioning all of the cables. So we're pulling them slightly higher than what our expected sag is or the lowest point of the cable. Then we will beat on it with a big stick so that it'll lower into the expected sag that we want. Eh, mi nombre es Cleto Cristóbal, trabajo para Ingenieros Sin Fronteras. Para mí, en lo que yo pienso es importante porque es más cerca para salir al asfalto. Sí. 
para las personas de mal y mucho más. Ah, bueno, para mí pues es importante porque esta vía siempre usamos. Desde antes, cuando no estaba ese que está ahí, pasamos en el río. So right now they're putting on the cross beams onto the cables. So they have a four by six with two holes and they're putting suspenders on the bottom through it and they're kicking them out across the bridge. So the cross beams will be supporting the deck, which we'll be putting on next. This has been a, a partnership amongst many organizations. So EWB, MSOE uh, chapter, uh, as well as the Rotary Club of Milwaukee, the Rotary Club of, of Guatemala, uh, the local community of El Tamal, and the uh, the mayor, the mayor's office of Hoya Ba, all have all have played a, a major part in the realization of this of this project. In addition to other donors, uh, so we received money from Thornton Tomasetti, uh, as well as donated safety gear from Lighthouse Safety. Uh, so it's been a neat, neat partnership amongst many people. I think by the end of the day we're actually going to get a tuk-tuk down here from the community and, and drive one across the bridge, which was kind of the ultimate goal for Dr. Davis and I. We're pretty excited about that. So. Colgante, ¿verdad? Con oportunidad para que pasen los, los famosos tuk-tuk. Va a ser de mucha importancia para esta región, ¿verdad? ya que si nos damos cuenta tenemos un tramo cortito de carretera ¿verdad? y, y nos hacía falta el puente. Ya o sea, se logró otro proyecto, pues es un avance para mí pues, y es un avance para la comunidad. Yesterday was, was just a really rewarding day to actually get the deck down and to walk across uh, and it was neat to see the smiles uh, on the local community members uh, you know as they you know kind of see their their year-long process of planning communicating with us um, and getting ready for this <laughs> I think every time I go on a trip, it just amazes me, like the community-driven goals that they have. Bonito, verdad? Me gusta, me gusta porque siempre estamos ayudando personas que no tienen oportunidades, verdad? Y entonces creo de que es un regalo maravilloso lo que los grupos hacen. It's a big project. It's fun to be involved from planning everything and designing everything, and now I get to build it as well. And but. It's, uh, it's fun to be a part of. Sí, de que muchas gracias. Yo les invito. Sigamos adelante. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>